Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 2002 Firehawk. This baby has got the SLB package on it, just over 16,000 miles, and you're gonna love checking it out. I was just out driving it and had a blast. Now we're gonna put it up on the lift so you can see the bottom. We're gonna pop the hood, see the power. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna take off the T-tops. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Firehawk investment. So come on up, we'll fire it up for you right now. Check this beauty out, man. The paint is amazing. Now, somebody got it up on the curve and there's a couple of scratches on the bottom side. Don't worry about that. We're having that nose repainted so it'll be perfect when it hits your driveway. And I love the hood. You see how these scoops are kind of molded in? Man, does it look badass. And it is a blast to drive. Like I said, I was just out driving it and it is a hoot. The six speed, the chrome wheels was, is part of the SLP package. Now, we got a lot of flack the last car we had with the SLP package. It says right here that it's got the SLP package on it. Then over on the other door, it actually tells you about what's in that package. Um, the interior's looking beautiful on the car. Of course, it is a six speed. Um, the T-tops are off. We were out driving it with the T-tops off. It is sweet, guys. What a cool ride. It is just a blast to drive and it just, it looks like a spaceship in there. So freaking cool. I love this car. And of course, pretty rare too. You don't see these cars anywhere. And the ones that uh, were built, the guys drove the crap out of them because they were so fun to drive. Not very many of them were put away like this one. I tell you, the gentleman who owned this car Definitely put it away and took great care of it. I've actually been underneath the car also. It's super clean inside. Look in there. You think there was ever anything in there? Now, this, these are the slots for the uh, T-tops right there. Love the car. It's car number 738. It's embroidered right there in the uh, back deck there. You look down the side of it, no scratches, no door dings. The car is amazing. Now, Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not a consignment dealer. That means we own this car, so you can bet we checked it out before we bought it. You know, we buy about 40 new cars every month, and I'm involved in the purchase of every one of those cars. So what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience in the muscle car industry, helping you pick out your dream car. It's Firehawk time. It's Firehawk time, guys. You want to talk about sweet? Man, is this car cool. Let's see, 16,531 miles on her. And she is sweet. Sounding so tough. Love this car. And I love the T-tops, man. The sun's out. I'm going to get some uh, tan on this bald head of mine. It's lunchtime here, so it may take a minute to get pulled out here on the highway. But one good thing is, we got plenty of power, so as soon as we see a hole, we're going, no problem whatsoever. We may have to run over this guy in front of us. Listen to that exhaust. Man, does it sound sweet. Shifter feels great. I love the sound of this car, man. Just amazing. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this Firehawk anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974. 9513. Tom will tell you how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway no matter where you live in the world. Just give him a call. If you want some help with financing, we can help you with that too. Listen to it downshift, man. Doesn't that sound awesome? Anyway, back to the financing. We got three bankers we're working with on financing, so we can hook you up there, no problem whatsoever. 
Uh, we can either uh, put you in contact on the phone with the banker, which is about a 15 minute phone call, or you can go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can fill the app out online. And while you're online, take the time to check out our 220 cars we have in stock right now. And don't forget, we're bringing in 40 new ones every month, so you never know. We may have your favorite car come in tomorrow. So check it out. You can also check us out on Facebook and YouTube. We have our own channel on YouTube where we do a video like what you're watching right here. We've got way over 2,000 videos up right now of cars that we have uh, sold in the past and all of our new inventory goes up there too. Just a blast to see all the cool cars that we've had come through. Listen to that exhaust. Man, does it sound sweet. We'll get around the corner up here and we'll take a quick look at the dash. Of course, everything on the dash is working. Handling like it's on rails, I tell you what a sweet ride this thing is. Upshifting, downshifting, the brakes sound great. I love the T-tops, man. The T-tops are so cool. Real easy to take the T-tops off. Get out here, you can check out the dash there. Everything's nice and pretty on this thing. Definitely well kept throughout the years. Somebody took very good care of this. A little preoccupied here, guys. The traffic is pretty busy here. Listen to that. Man, does it sound good. Looks like a brand new Corvette there pulling out. Now, when we get back to the shop, we're going to do something nobody else does. We're going to get this car up in the air so you can check out the bottom side. Then we're going to pop the hood, see what's making the power. We're right up here at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. We're only 20 minutes from the airport, so if you'd like to uh, come out and check us out, we'd love to have you. We sell most of our cars sight unseen, so we love to meet our customers. Here we are right here, here's the shop. If you'd like to come out in person, just give Tom a call, let him know you're coming. Sometimes the cars get a little bit buried. It may take us a minute to drag your favorite car out to the front. So stick with us, we're gonna get it up in the air for you right now. All right guys, this is the underside of this O2 Firehawk. Um, this thing is about as original as the original gets under here. This thing has not been gussied up at all under here. This is how this came from the factory. Um, the only thing that I can see here is it does have a stainless exhaust. I'm not certain if that is what actually came on this or not. It does look to be about the same age as everything else underneath here. Um, so if it is not original, it is a um, very early addition to the car. Um, outside of all of that, we do have a GM 10 bolt here, a more modern style 10 bolt. It's got about a uh, 331 to 1 kind of ratio, somewhere in that neighborhood. Open differential on this. Real nice aluminum drive shaft. Of course, disc brakes in the rear, a modern car, no big surprise. Um, something else that I think is extremely cool on this car, um, you can see the, like the somewhat primer, somewhat overspray from the body. This is all the way that this came from the factory. It's absolutely beautiful. This is what it came uh, when it was like rolling down the line in the paint shop. This is just overspray from the actual paint of the body of the car. And you can even see the overspray of um, this little rock uh, chip guard and stuff that they put in here, this undercoat type stuff. You can see the overspray of it um, when the factory sprayed this on. That is how original this car is. Of course, all the brakes and gas lines, it all it, you know, it stays in all of its um, protective clips and all that sort of stuff. It's all still here. I can still see all the stampings on the sheet metal underneath here. This car is that clean, that pristine. Uh, this thing does have an aluminum drive shaft in it, I believe to be original to the car as well. Of course, few joints, you know, no big surprise, they're all in excellent shape. Um, it does look like uh, the exhaust catalytic converters up here, good shape. O2 sensors, it even has like the nice um, sheathing over top of all of it. None of it's deteriorated at all. Absolutely wonderful. This here is a, a Tremec six-speed transmission. It's a T56, um, which is a uh, you know a more modern style uh, six-speed transmission. Very very cool stuff. Um, this is the uh, LS style uh, V8 that's underneath the hood here. We're going to get to that in just a second. Um, in the rear, we do have coilovers holding this thing up. Um, up here, we have uh, like a modern style front, uh, independent front suspension on this. Looks like it even has like the factory writing on a lot of like our core support. Not, excuse me, not core support. Um, front member here, this uh, cross member here. 
Um, rack and pinion steering, obviously power with it being a modern car. Original alternator under here, and you can see it's in wonderful shape. The belt looks like it's in great shape still. All the stuff under here, you can get a good look up at this motor. You can tell this is a very, very low miles car. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't get really any better than this. Big, massive, beady sway bar. Disc brakes in the front. The, uh, the discs look like they're probably original to the car and there doesn't look to be any pitting or anything on them. Tires look like they're in wonderful shape, both front and rear, and they are the same size. We're gonna get to that in just a second. And of course, right here, you got the, uh, the little emblem here on the uh, front uh, air dam here, Firehawk. I mean, overall, and even up in here too, I'm even seeing up like where your uh, core support's at. Up here would be where the rot likes to start. It's where, it, like, it started at least on my modern cars, right up in here. And I mean, it, it's, I can still feel the spot welds. You know, you can see them here. I can feel them along the back of here too. I mean, it is a brand new O2 Firehawk. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's go check out wheels and tires. All right, guys, for wheels and tires, we do have the original uh, looking rim on this thing. As you can see, the big old meaty caliper, good looking uh, rotors here. You, and you can see that these rotors, there's not really grooved or anything like that. Anything that you're seeing there is just a wear pattern, nothing more. I can't catch my fingernail on any of that stuff. Um, something else I'd like to point out, 27540Z R17, which is the speed rated tires for a car like this. Uh, that's that's going to be needed. Um, and if you'll come around with, to the front of the car with me here. You can see here that the front chin of this car here, it does have a little bit of rash on it. We are actually going to fix this. So uh, this is the kind of thing where you'll be able to actually slide mirrors underneath this and you can actually show this off. Or even if you've got a stacker in your garage, you can raise it up on the garage and show it off to all your friends. But uh, this will be fixed when you receive this car. Um, so let's go check out the rear. Okay guys, on this side we got the exact same size tire, 275, 70, or excuse me, 275, 40, ZR17, uh, same good looking wheel, uh, slightly smaller a caliper in the back, of course it is rear, and these discs back here are vented as well, which is also cool, very performance oriented. Um, something else, I mean of course, we keep talking about the low mileage of this car and what kind of nice shape it is on the underside here, so there's no big surprise, but right in this spot right here is the first place for them to start rotting, is right here, and I mean there's not even dirt in there, this thing has got so few miles on it and is so well kept. There's no dirt anywhere on this. I mean, it's just phenomenal. It's quite frankly, it's amazing what kind of shape this car is in. I've never seen one this nice. Let's go check out the uh, V8 under the hood. All right, guys, this is the underside here, or I should say the underside of the hood. Um, LS1 that would be in this thing here, and you can see that it does have quite a few like little little things here. It does have the SLP package on it. There's actually a k and air filter inside there. I just checked, it does look like it's in good shape. And I mean, I quite frankly, I wish the, uh, un the underside of the hood of my modern car looked like this. This is absolutely phenomenal. It even has the, uh, the car number over here on the uh, front of the cylinder head here where they have like this plate riveted onto it here. And it says Firehawk right on it, etched into it. Very, very cool stuff. All of the wiring looks like it's all original under here. I mean, it's, this thing is like a time capsule. It has a GM stinking belt on it, for heaven's sakes. You can look down inside here where the dirt would start to collect if this thing had any miles on it, which it doesn't. And I believe the number on this is like 16,000 miles or something ridiculously low like that. Um, but you, as you can see, it's got GM belts and hoses all over the place. All the lines look like they're factory pre-bent lines. I mean, this thing, it, it quite frankly looks like it did when this thing rolled out of the factory. It's even got all like the, the stickers still all over here from like the original when this car was built. I mean, I, it really quite frankly is amazing to see something like this old and this good a shape. So that all being said, if you would like to have this Firehawk parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let the Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway.